Hey guys, today we're gonna cover subdividing edges and faces. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, go ahead and start a new file. And in this lesson, we're gonna discuss the subdivide command. Now, up until this point, we've been adding meshes and then press tab key on your keyboard. In edit mode, we've been using some of the tools over here to create new geometry and then be able to transform it into the object we want. We're gonna talk about how we can subdivide our existing geometry to give us new geometry to work with as well. So let's dive into this. Go ahead and zoom in. So roll your mouse wheel forward to zoom in on the cube. And again, you're in edit mode. And what I want you to do is click once over in space just to deselect everything. Now, let's go ahead and make sure we're in vertex selection mode. So press one on the top row of number keys. So not your number pad, but the top row just above the letters. That will switch you to vertex selection mode if you hadn't already been defaulted to it. And then go ahead and click once on this top vertex here to select it. Then hovering over that selection, right click on it. And near the top of that menu, you'll see it says subdivide. Go ahead and click subdivide. And nothing happens. So it turns out that you cannot subdivide a vertex. A vertex is a single point in space. It can't be subdivided or split into two. But as you can imagine, you can do that with edges or faces. So let's check that out. Press two on the row of numbers at the top of your keyboard to switch to edge selection mode and click once on that top edge to select it. Then right click on it and pick the option for subdivide. Now it might not be too obvious here, but I see I have a white highlight here and an orange highlight here. That means that I can kind of see that this has been split in two, but an even easier way to tell, press the number one on that top row of numbers on your keyboard and you notice now you have a new vertex there. So this edge was subdivided now into two pieces and there's a new vertex in the middle. So why would you wanna do that? Well, let's go ahead and click once off in space to deselect everything. Then click once on that new vertex, press G for grab and notice that you can adjust this shape in a new way that you couldn't have before because you didn't have that extra vertex there. While you're in the middle of moving, just hit the escape key to let go of that. If you finished moving it, you can actually control Z to undo. And go ahead and control Z to undo as many times as it takes until you no longer see that vertex there. So I'm gonna go one more time so that I see that I have a solid white line. That's back to when I first selected that. So you can subdivide a single edge Let's talk about subdividing faces. Press three on your keyboard to switch to face selection mode and then click once on this outside face to select it. Then right click on it and pick the option for subdivide. Now, once again, if you click, you can see that there are four faces now. So you've subdivided this, but rather than subdividing this face into two, you see that it's subdivided into four faces. What really happened when you selected this face is you got all four of the outside edges. And we already know that when you subdivide an edge, you're gonna put a vertex in the middle of this edge, a vertex in the middle of this edge, this edge, and this edge. And then these lines are drawn between the vertices. So instead of this face splitting into two, it actually splits into four. If you press one on that top row of number keys, you can see those vertices now pretty clearly. And once again, if you click once to select that middle vertex, press G for grab, and you can move this out a bit. And if you orbit around, you see how you could start to manipulate the shape. So the whole idea of subdividing your existing geometry, the edges and the faces, is to get new edges and faces and vertices that you can transform. And transforming can be using that move, rotate, or scale tool, or it can also be that you have new faces now if this face here was something that you wanted to inset or extrude or something else that you have access to with the tools over there on the left-hand side. Okay, so we know we can subdivide edges. We know we can subdivide faces. Let's undo back. We're gonna have to undo back several steps. So I'm holding down my control key 
on a PC, it would be the command key on a Mac and then press the Z key on your keyboard. And with that key held down, that control key on the PC, just keep pressing Z, 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 Z until you get back to where you've undone all the way back to before you subdivided that face. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now, back to the lesson. Okay, press 2 to go back to edge selection mode, and then click off in space to deselect everything. So you can also subdivide multiple edges at the same time. So go ahead and click to select this top edge, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click this bottom edge to select it. Then you can let go of the shift key on your keyboard, right click on the selection and pick the option at the top there for subdivide. And as you may have guessed, the top edge will be subdivided, the bottom edge will be subdivided, and there's this edge connecting those two vertices. Let's go ahead and undo back, Control Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac. Those two edges should still be selected. We want that. If they're not, you can select them, but if they're selected, leave them alone. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and let's pick one more edge, this back edge over here. Go ahead and click on it to select it. Then let go of the Shift key, right click on that edge and pick Subdivide. And once again, you might've expected this, but you will subdivide this face and that one at the same time. And if you orbit around, nothing else has been subdivided. So you can subdivide more than one edge at a time. Let's go ahead and undo back again. Control Z on a PC, Command Z on a Mac. Let's talk about multiple faces. So press three across that top row of numbers on your keyboard to switch to face selection mode. Click once on this face to select it, then hold down the shift key and click on the top face to add it to the selection set. Then let go of your shift key and right click on one of those faces and pick the option for subdivide. So again, you can subdivide more than one face at the same time. You notice the top face and this face behave as you would expect, but you also notice you get something else going on on this side. You have this angled edge that's drawn in between those two vertices and the same on the other side. So it turns out that when you subdivide multiple things, every once in a while, depending on where you are in 3D space, an extra set of edges or vertices that you didn't expect might pop in there. It's not really worth getting into why exactly Blender drew this one in here. The point is, is that you have to sort of take a look at what the subdivision does, make sure that it's what you expected as for how you're gonna transform your geometry. And if something about it isn't quite right, we'll talk about how you could clean up that sort of stuff in a future lesson. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and undo that subdivision. So control Z to undo that. So we know we can select multiple edges. We know we can select multiple faces. Let's talk about another thing that's gonna pop up for you as you subdivide your surfaces or your edges. So click once in white space here to deselect everything. Then click once on this face to select it then right click on it and pick the option for subdivide. Now, let's say you subdivide this face and then you say, you know what? I need this face to be subdivided as well. So let's try it. Click once to select this face, then right click on it and pick the option for subdivide. And you'll say, wait, that didn't work out. And actually it kind of did. So let me show you what happened and then explain why. So press one on the top row of numbers on your keyboard to switch to vertex selection. And if we orbit around and look, we can see indeed there was a vertex here and let's go ahead and click once in space so we can more easily see this. So indeed there's a vertex here, a vertex here and a vertex here. So these three edges got subdivided as we expected. This edge had already been subdivided by what went on over here. So what happened was we had two edges here and those two edges got subdivided again. So this is a new vertex here and a new vertex here. So the reason that Blender didn't know how to draw edges in on this face here is because this face was not a quad. Now we're gonna get into more about what a quad is and compare it to some other types of faces you can have in Blender. But the main idea is that a quad has four edges. 
So not three edges and not more than four edges. It's exactly four edges. So as you might be able to imagine, over here, this particular shape, that's a quad because you have one, two, three, four edges. But this one right here is not a quad because you have one, two, three, but then you have four, five edges. So we'll talk more about what five edges or more means and what that means for modeling in Blender. We'll also talk about when you only have three sides, what that means. But the main idea is that when you're subdividing a face in Blender, if it's not a quad, you'll still get the subdivisions on the perimeter edges, but Blender won't know exactly which way you want those edges drawn in on that face. So just important for you to know if you're subdividing a face after you've already subdivided another and it seems to not work, you might want to switch to vertex selection and just take a look because most likely the edges were subdivided and Blender just wasn't able to draw in those edges for you. Now we're going to talk in some upcoming lessons about how you can fix something like this or more manually add your own edges. But for right now, I just wanted to point that out so that if it happens to you, you know what's going on underneath the hood. Okay, the final thing to point out here about subdivisions, let's go ahead and undo back to before we did any. So control Z on a PC or command Z on a Mac as many times as you need to until no subdivisions are there. Let's go ahead and subdivide the whole cube at the same time. So by that, I mean we're gonna need to select all the faces. So press three to go to face selection mode. Then remember, we need to be able to see those back faces. So come up and click on wireframe. And for me, when I click on wireframe, I have toggled on X-ray so that it's pairing up. Just make sure that X-ray is also toggled on. Then let's click and drag a selection window around the entire cube to select everything. Then you can switch back to the solid mode shading and go ahead and right click on the selection and pick the option for subdivide. Now you can right click on the selection again and pick subdivide again. And every single bit will be subdivided once more. So this rectangle here, which was one face, now got split into four faces. So now you can imagine, we're gonna do this one more time with everything selected, but imagine this rectangle here, when we do it again, how many faces would you expect on every side? Let's go ahead and right click and pick the option for subdivide. And you see there's four more there. So the reason you might wanna subdivide multiple times is that whatever edits you're making to one subdivision will look far more crude. So when we moved out just one vertex, we had a far more crude looking or low polygon kind of shape. But now we have many more faces and vertices that we can move and transform more subtly. So the more subdivisions you have, the more you're able to subtly adjust the location, the rotation, the scale of things, and then therefore you can have a more detailed object that you're creating. Okay, we're not too worried about transforming anything that we've subdivided just yet. For now, the main idea is that we have this subdivide command, which is going to work in the ways that we've discovered in this lesson. Now, in the next lesson, we're gonna move on to using a different kind of a tool that will help us manually subdivide faces however we want. So with that, we're ready to move on to that next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.